Hey friends and welcome back. If you do your own canning, you're probably either using the water bath method or a pressure canner. These are the two usual methods and each has their own advantages depending on what you're canning. But there's so much more that you can preserve when you put steam under pressure. You're able to get to much higher temperatures and that makes the food safer. Sometimes though, when you've got your jars packed, they're loaded in the canner, the water's starting to boil and everything seems to be going well. And then you realize you, you can't get the steam up to the pressure you need because there's a leak somewhere. The lid or the gasket, something there is just not making a proper seal. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you an easy way to fix that. Something you wouldn't expect in the kitchen. So let's take a look. Knowing what pressure your canner is at is extremely important. That's why I prefer to use a, a canner that has a dial gauge instead of one that only has one of these weighted jigglers. The gauge always shows you the exact pressure you're at. So if it's starting to get too high, or if you're losing a lot of steam, you'll know, and you'll be able to measure it accurately. On my canner, to keep the steam from escaping, there's a rubber gasket that makes a seal between the lid and the base. After a few years though, I notice steam can start to leak out from around it. I'm not sure if it's due to age or the amount of usage, but I find the rubber just seems to start to break down. Here, you can see some of the scoring that's starting to form along the surface. Over time, the gasket shrinks, gets a little stiffer, and it just seems to lose its resiliency. There are small and even microscopic gaps on the metal surfaces. If you look closely, here on the base of the canner, you can still see some of the grooves that were left by the factory when they ground it. If they're not completely sealed, steam can get through and leak out and all these losses can add up. When you have too many gaps, you won't be able to keep enough steam to maintain the pressure you need. And that's very serious because you can't trust the food if it's not processed properly. You could get very sick if you try eating it later on. But let me show you how to recognize when you are losing steam. It's actually invisible, but when it escapes, it condenses in the air and what you do see is a cloudy jet of water vapor. Here on top of the canner, you have the main vent with a weight on it. Its purpose is to release excess steam to help regulate the pressure. When you see any vapor escaping from here, that's completely normal. Along with a hissing noise and a bit of water dripping. But if you get that same vapor and hissing and dripping from underneath the lid, well, that's different. That's the sign that you've got a leak around the gasket. Now, let me just say a few words about safety. You always have to be careful around steam. Always respect it. If you don't, you could get a, a real painful burn. So I, I recommend using a good pair of heat resistant kitchen gloves. They can give you some protection in case you happen to put your hand in direct contact with it. So to fix this loss of steam, one easy thing to try first is before you start the next load, take the gasket out and clean it thoroughly. It may simply just have some debris stuck to it and stopping it from making a good seal. Not only clean the gasket, but also take a look all along the lid and the top edge of the pot. All these surfaces have to be completely clean. I even make sure that the screw that connects the handle to the lid is tight. If it's loose, it could interfere with the seal too. If you've done all this and you still have a little steam escaping, it's definitely time to change out the gasket. But if you can't immediately get a replacement, here's a quick trick I've always used to stop the leak. I clamp down the lid. You can try this method temporarily just to get you through the jars that you've already prepared, but I certainly don't recommend doing this on a continual basis. On this canner, when the lid is rotated into its closed position, the handles on both the lid and the pot are lined up. By clamping the handles closer together, it pushes the lid down just a little, just enough to squeeze the gasket tighter. If the steam isn't leaking too badly, then this usually works quite well. Just make sure the clamps have a, a complete and firm contact with the handles. You don't want them to be slipping off. There are many different types of clamps that are out there and they, they all have their own purpose and application. But for this job, 
I prefer the ones where you turn the handle to tighten it. They can be adjusted and give you extremely fine control over the amount of pressure you apply. You could also use a type that closes when you've squeezed the grip. Both types will work well, and I'm using one of each here to demonstrate that. You may be inclined to use spring clamps, but I would only use those as a last resort because they can't be adjusted. They tend to either squeeze too much or not enough. All you want to do is just apply a small amount of pressure and adjust each side a, a little at a time. You'll know that you've sealed it when the hissing from under the lid finally stops. And with this method, there's no risk that you'll compromise any of the safety features the canner has. The steam's not going to build up to any dangerous levels and the lid always stays interlocked with the base. If the clamps do slip, then the only risk is that there could be a burst of steam that could leak around the gasket, so again, I urge you to wear those gloves, just to be safe. Once you're done processing the jars, don't remove the clamps immediately. Turn off the heat as you normally would, and give the canner time to dissipate the pressure. Once the gauge drops to zero, then you can safely take off the clamps. This technique may not work with all pressure canners, but it, it does work for my Presto type. If you find that even after you clean it and clamp it, and it's still leaking too much steam, then there's really nothing more you can do. You, the gasket is just too far gone and it's time to replace it. Turn off the heat, let it cool down, and put the jars in the fridge. It's better to wait, do it safely, and try again once you have the new gasket. And when you finally do have it in hand, I really recommend giving it a thorough wash first. I found that they usually have a residue on them from the factory. You'll see a big difference when you compare the old seal with the new one. It's much more pliable. It's also a little spongier at first, and usually opening and closing the lid on, on the first few loads will feel really snug. You may have to push a little harder when you rotate it, but you'll have a good seal. And then you can finally get back to canning. I hope you found this video helpful, and I invite you to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Garden Well, Eat Well.